is this is this a big deal affecting it, a lot of kids? It is a big deal, and it's we're learning more and more about how childhood trauma can have lifelong impacts um, on both physical health and mental health. And as I know, we are going to talk about parenting as well. Um, nonetheless, there's a lot that we can do and, and there's a lot of ways that we can help. So having had um, a difficult childhood or a childhood that included trauma, there are things that you can do and there are ways to break this cycle. Well, let's talk about what childhood trauma is. I mean, what's the gamut of it? You know, people always say, well, I had childhood trauma. What does that mean? Yeah, it can mean a lot of different things. Um, and we keep learning more about the different types of things and how they impact us over our lifetime. Um, th certainly things like child maltreatment, um, sexual abuse, physical abuse, emotional abuse. Um, you can also be impacted by neglect. So um, feel not having unconditional love from parents. We're learning more about community events. Um, being in the presence of vi community violence can have an impact on children. Things like racism and discrimination and community type stressors can also impact um, our lifelong sort of how we perceive things and how we function in the world. And what can this lead to as adults? Let's say we've suffered through some childhood trauma. Do we tend to inflict that on our kids or others? Do we tend to just hold it in? Is it a combination of things? It's a combination of things. And the other thing that we're learning a lot more about are protective and compensatory experiences. So we often refer to adverse childhood experiences as ACEs. Um, and emerging research is learning a lot about protective and compensatory experiences or PACEs. Um, so even as you're going through childhood, you may have some of these traumatic events happening. Um, you may also have a protective adult um, that you feel you can confide in or a best friend or participation in sports or really high achievement in school and some resources from your school that can also counterbalance. So it's sort of a net balance of these experiences. So it's not that if you have these, that everything is going to go wrong over time. So it's really a net balance. And the wonderful news is as we transition to parenthood, we, we it's a time for resetting, just as it's a sort of sensitive period and plasticity for infant brain. It's also a period of plasticity for the parental brain, both for the person who is pregnant and has a child, as well as spouses and um, others, parents who adopt children. We're now learning more about how the brain changes its plasticity around the transition to uh, parenthood as well. So there's there's a lot of it's it's a it's a period that we may be able to reset and um and sort of break this cycle. You're doing research into this? Yes, yes. So we in 2021, uh, the Miriam Hospital received a an 11 million dollar grant focused on stress, trauma, and resilience, and we're really trying to better understand and come up with better treatments for folks who have experienced adverse childhood events and stress and trauma across the lifespan. Um, so it's uh, uh, we're really trying to better understand and come up with more proximal treatments, trying to use technology to come up with better treatments. Are you enrolling patients or? We have some studies are, yes. Yes, yeah, so we have some studies that are enrolling patients, some are enrolling folks from the community, some are following sort of long-term families that have been studied long-term in our laboratories. 